Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to get this cool grungy distressed effect on your text layers in Photoshop uh, with just a couple of clicks using the text trasher effect from StudioAAA.com. I've used this effect all over the place in my Instagram content, commissioned stuff, posters, like I'll put one on the screen now, a uh, sort of demo for you today how I made. Obviously this effect is really popular, it's like a design trend that predates me making this, but with the tools here that you can get on my website you can basically generate like a bunch of different versions of distressed text or um, it just lets you do it quicker in a couple of clicks. So to get straight into it, this is Text Trasher. Um, to get this, you can just go to studiotriplea.com, come to the free category and it's here under Text Trasher. Um, obviously I've already got this, but if you add to basket, as you can see, it's free, so you won't be charged. Um, once you take it through checkout, it will email you a download link and you'll be redirected to a download link as well. So just grab the file from whichever you prefer. Once you've done that, this is what you're gonna get. This is an ATN file. It'll say Text Trasher 2023. I think you get the other version as well because I updated this recently, but whichever one you get, the easiest way to install any action is just by double clicking your ATN file with Photoshop open in the background. So I can do that now and it sort of spawns in here in my actions panel. Obviously I've already got it, uh, so it's installed here too at the top. If that doesn't work for you or if you don't have the actions panel in your Photoshop yet, you can just come up here to window and then make sure actions is ticked. But yeah, you'll get this little list pop up. If the list didn't pop up when you double clicked the ATN file, then just come up to these uh, three little lines here and go down to load actions. When you open load actions, uh, it's just gonna default to wherever your like Adobe stuff is installed, but you can just navigate to wherever you saved the ATN file and just open it that way and then it'll appear in here. So now to show you how this works, I've just got a normal text layer here, um, nothing like, fancy going on, no effects on it or anything yet. And all I'm gonna do is pick the effect I want to use. My favorite one is uh, just called Text Trasher Heavy. So pick that from the side or wherever you put your actions panel with your text layer selected and then just click the little play button at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that in my recording, so I will just pull it out. So just click this little play button here with the action selected, and then it's gonna start bringing you through all of the like necessary effects that you can customize to like get the end result. The first thing is the color fill layer. Now it's doing this because the best thing about like all these effects I've built for Text Trasher is they are all non-destructive. So all of your effects are gonna be applied to this color fill layer. Now you can name the layer whatever you want, but if you have two layers that have whatever name you enter here, um, the action won't know where to put the effects that I've queued up. So yeah, just write whatever you want here, as long as it's not already used in your document. I'm just gonna keep it as color fill one. And then again, doesn't matter, color whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it white for now. And next you add in a Gaussian blur. Now, obviously the further you go with the blur, the less readable your text will be. So if you go like all the way out, out here, um, that's just not gonna work at all. I'll try to zoom out a bit because I've got the actions panel. Oh, I can just move that. Yeah, so if you go all the way out, it's gonna look rubbish. Um, if you go too like close to zero, basically, you're not gonna have mu uh, much to customize in the next window. So I always just keep it like pretty subtle, but it's up to you how readable you want your text to be. In the next window, you're gonna add a threshold effect. Now, on this little graph here, you are essentially choosing where the threshold effect is gonna define an edge in the blur you just created. So here, if we pull it like all the way to the left, it's adding the edge at like the furthest point of the blur. And if you pull it all the way to the right, it's uh, defining the edge in like the uh, like thickest part of the blur if that makes sense probably a better way to explain that but I think you all know what threshold does um, so yeah up to you where you want to put that I'm just gonna go there so my text is like super thick now here's where the effect will differ depending on which action you chose in the list so some actions in this pack have a couple more steps but for me on this one it's just gonna add the ripple effect now um, this is just used to add like some distortion to the edge. You can see if I turn it all the way up, it's, it gets a little bit crazy, but in other ones, like for example, the warped one, you might be adding effects here to like warp the overall shape of the layer or whatever. Yeah, for me, it's just ripple and it's all personal preference anyway, because as I said, you can just rerun the action again and again and again. 
uh, because it doesn't destroy a text layer. The only thing I would say to keep in mind if you are given the option for size on your effect is if I go large, like it kind of looks silly um, the further you go. So just choose the size based on how much detail you want. Bear in mind, like obviously small, it's finer details like this. And then if you go large, the details become more exaggerated. Um, just pick that, pick whichever one works essentially for your document size. I'm just gonna leave it at medium and just keep it at 20% because obviously I'm not really bothered how good this one looks. And then after that, you're gonna get this output layer, which is the end result of your chosen action. Um, like I said before, the good thing is the text layer is still here. You can still go in and edit this, say whatever you want, and then run the action again if you wanted to. You can even go to the output layer and just run another one on it. So again, I'm just gonna like click through this quickly, but you can keep stacking the text trasher effects over and over and over again until you've got like completely destroyed text if you wanted to, but that's up to you. So I'm just gonna close that because I don't need any of that stuff. That was just to show you how it works. This is the uh, poster design that I had on the screen at the start of the video. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you how I like arrived at that end result. I'll throw the original on the screen now, which you can see is all glowy and cool and, and dithered and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna use the text trasher action now to turn it into a more mixed media, like grungy poster design. All I've got here is a graphic I created in Blender with my logo just in this guy's mouth. Uh, this is just like a Daz model. It's nothing fancy or anything. And then it's got a dithered effect on it, which I will cover in another video pretty soon. And then these text layers at the top are just normal text layers. They, they look great because I've removed all the color and there's no background. So it's just a PNG file basically. So I'm gonna go for the overkill effect. And I'll just skip through the settings I'll use because it doesn't matter too much. Um, the only thing I'm gonna try and do is keep the threshold level to like a point where you can see the mouth, which you can't actually on this one. So let me just redo that. I'll try it with the heavy one as well. So yeah, heavy works a bit better for that one, but. So, that kind of adds the distressed effect to both the graphic and the text because the, obviously it's called text trasher, but it will work on basically anything with an edge. So as long as it's got like um, no background basically, then the effect will work to distress the edge like, like it's done here. So if you have anything similar to like this output from this video and you wanted to add a texture like some of the examples I showed at the start, if you go back to where you got the text trasher download from, um, you can see that there's printer trash, scanner trash, spray scans, and VHS textures, which are all free texture packs. Pretty much any of these will work quite cool with this pack. Uh, I'm just gonna drag in a couple from printer trash because that's like my preferred one for this effect, but all these are free versions. So if you wanted to make something from this video and add a texture and stuff, uh, yeah, you can go and grab one of those. Obviously I've got the full version here, but the free textures from the printer trash pack are think this one is free. So yeah, all I do is just go to like exclusion or difference blend mode when I work with adding a texture to the text trasher effect. And then below the texture, but above the text layer, I just add a gradient map. And then it sometimes looks quite cool if you do like a two, add two colors to the end that work well together. So I'm just gonna go for green and orange. looks quite cool and um, if you went for like the scanner trash textures or the VHS textures or anything can look quite cool if you add a glow so I'm just gonna duplicate my output and then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and it can start looking like quite cool if you um, if you willing to spend time messing with that I don't know if it comes across on the recording very well but yeah if you were to add so these, these three are the free VHS textures. So if you use the glow and throw on some of the scanner trash or VHS textures, uh, you can go for like more of the like digital glitchy text effects rather than the mixed media one. But um, 
yeah, it's all personal preference. Anyway, yeah, that's how I use this pack. So just remember that everything I make that's free will always come up on, I can't see past my microphone. So anything I make for free will always come up on this page, which is just studiotriplea.com slash free. Or you can follow us on Twitter or Instagram or basically anywhere else to keep up with what's new. Uh, I'm doing one free download per month in 2024. Some of the free downloads are like limited time. So like this one will disappear. This one might disappear. Text Trash a World because it's, it's just free. There's no paid option. Um, but yeah, one a month on this page. If there is anything else from my site that you want me to cover in a video, please let me know. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.